now with with the league moving online, uh, you know, MIBR is competing in ESL Pro League as well as Flashpoint. And so I guess the question I would have for you is, uh, obviously, you can't predict the coronavirus situation several months ago, but now do you see a world where you would have done both as Cloud9? Um, yeah, you know, so participation in um, in the individual competitions is a decision that I, I just have to be honest, is primarily driven by um, the general manager of our Counter-Strike team, the players and, and folks like Jack. Um, I, I, when I weigh in on those decisions, I generally will say to the players and the staff of, of the team that I feel like playing in more events is not what's important. Playing in the events that are both competitively most interesting to the players and, and economically most viable to the, to, for the business is what's important. And I think, I think historically there's just been, there hasn't been enough space in, in the average kind of Counter-Strike team or player schedule to be able to really focus on some things that I think are, are really important. Number one is like an actual personal life, a sustainable life for, for a player. You're going to burn out. You're not going to be successful long term if, if you're on the road, you know, 300 days a year and in and, and a constant state of jet lag, I don't think. Um, and, and two, you've got to be able to kind of really practice in a, in a practice and and training environment um, away from competition somewhat, I think, to get better as a player. Um, and and so uh, allowing themselves the, the time to be able to do that and not just chase every prize pool that's out there, I think is important. Um, if if we had known, you know, then what we what we know now, I, I, it's difficult for me to say whether we would have competed in EPL. But um, I do think this is a this is a temporary situation. Um, I don't think that in Flashpoint two. I certainly hope that in Flashpoint two we're not still playing online. And I would imagine that the folks from ESL and and the and the teams that are in EPL also also hope that they they can move back to LAN as quickly as possible. And as soon as you're in a LAN format, it's just logistically impossible to play in um, more than one uh, competition like this kind of concurrently.